Hello again and welcome to Practice Problem 6, Great Circle Sailing. I'm Neil Smith and this is U.S. Captain's Training. Let's jump right into it. Great Circle, Distance and Initial Course, Practice Problem 6. Here we are. Problem six. First thing we do is record the information given in the problem. So we're given latitudes and longitudes. Given lat one, which is equal to in problem six, 26. 26 degrees, zero, zero minutes south. And longitude one, which is equal to 56 degrees zero zero minutes west and we're given latitude two which is equal to 34 degrees zero zero minutes south a lot of zeros in this longitude two which is equal to 1815 18 degrees 15 minutes east here we cross the prime meridian and with our lats we stayed in the same hemisphere we did not cross the equator cool and now in the problem all of these need to be in only degrees it happens that three of them already are so these are all going to be the same but longitude two we need to divide 15 by 60 so it's actually going to be 18 point 15 divided by 60 is 0.25 but let's type it in anyways. 15 divided by 60 equals 0.25. 18.25 degrees east. And all of these are the same. So let's do D low. We need to find D low. D low is the difference in longitude. So D low equals longitude 1 minus longitude 2. And longitude 1 is 56, 56.00 degrees west. And longitude 2 is 18.25 degrees east. Let's see what happened. We're going to have to name this. Something that helps with naming these is say, which way did you go? So if we look at this, here's 0, right? Good starting point, 0. We are 56 west, 20, 40, 60. We're somewhere around here in the west. We went to 18.25 east. So we went like, so over here, we went east. And we went about 20, 40, 60, somewhere about 80, just so we have a ballpark what we're looking for. So really, I mean, you're like 20 to zero, 80 to zero. We got to add these. We have to add these together. So 56 plus 18.25 equals 74.25. That is the difference between these two, 74.25 degrees. And we went east. So the name is east. D low equals 74.25 east. Now we need to find distance. Find distance. That's what we're doing now. And we have a nice formula for that. And it's cosine distance equals cosine lat 1 times cosine lat 2 times cosine d low, say, plus or maybe minus sine lat 1 times sine lat 2. <clears throat> How do we know if it's plus or minus? It is plus if we stayed in the same hemisphere. We did not cross the equator south-south in our two lats, so it's going to be plus. It's minus if you did. If this were north and south or south and north, then it'd be minus because you crossed the equator. Let's put in some numbers here. So cosine lat 1. 26, 26 times cosine lat 2, 
34 times cosine d low, 74.25. Plus, because we didn't cross the equator, sine flat 1 is 26 times sine flat 2, which is 34. Nice, they're making these nice and round for us. So we start punching these into the calculator. So we open the parentheses. Cosine 26 close times cosine 34 close times cosine D low 74.25. 74.25 close close enter. Point two zero two two six. 0 0.20226. Did I get that? 20226. Good. And this will be added because we did not cross the equator to this. Open sine 26 close times sine 34 close close enter point two four five one three zero point two four five one three three let's add these together so this plus this point two oh two two six enter point four four seven four zero point four four seven three nine three nine and remember this is this is the cosine of distance is equal to this so we need to just get distance right so just distance is equal to the cosine the inverse cosine of 0 0.44739 so distance is equal to this this is going to come out in degrees too so second inverse cosine point 44739 enter 63.42 63.42 degrees. We need this to be in miles because in the problem it's in miles. So we get 60 miles per one degree. Degrees cancel, we're left with miles. So distance in this case was 63.42, which we already have times 60, enter 3805. Ha, we got it. 38.05 miles. Okay, you know, you can look at this and look at the problem. And it's like, oh, yeah, check it out. I already got it. But they want us to find this, too. So we will. Initial course. There's, so we're looking for initial course now. And we say cosine initial course equals, again, this plus or minus. Sine lat 2 minus cosine distance times sine lat 1. All of this over sine distance times cosine lat 1. Now let's start plugging these in and putting them into our calculator. So plus or minus. We are plus because we did not cross the equator. So sine lat 2, sine lat 2, 34. I like these round numbers. Minus cosine distance. The distance must be in degrees. Don't use this miles. You have to use degrees. Cosine, 63.42. 63.42 times Sine lat 1 is here, 26. All of this is over. Sine distance, again, 63.42 degrees. 63.42 degrees times the cosine lat 1. Lat 1 is 26. Yeah, more of these round numbers. Liking that. Sine 34. Sine 34. Enter point five five one two three four five 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 nine one nine zero point five five nine one nine and this is 
x minus here we go open the parentheses and say cosine 63.42 63.42 close time sine 26 close close enter point one nine six one five point one nine six one five and this again is over don't forget about the bottom I've done it multiple times. We'll open this and say sine 63.42 times cosine 26. Enter 0 0.8038. 0 0.8038. Now we keep crunching. Let's get this top one. So point five five nine one nine minus point one nine six one five equals point three six three oh four. So zero point three six three oh four. I mess up here a lot. I always forget to take this bottom one and there's another step here, right? So zero point a O three eight and now do this division. We already have the top number divided by point eight O three three eight eight O three share. Yeah. Okay, good. Point four five one eight nine zero point four five one eight nine and again this is cosine of the initial course we just want initial course don't we so we're going to take the cosine move it over by doing inverse cosine cosine negative one of 0 0.45189 and so this is going to equal second inverse cosine 0.45189 enter 63.13 63.13 and this is in quadrantal notation we name it north south based on lat one which is south and we name it east west based on d low which is east so we're south 63.13 east let's graph this thing figure out how what we are from north so north south east west this is essentially a compass and this says we are south and east. And we're east 63.13. So somewhere up here, right? This is what we figured out. Now, how many degrees from north? What we need is this, degrees from north. So we can say 180 minus this will give us the leftover, which is degrees from no north. Okay, we're looking good here. So let's say 180 minus 63.13 equals 180 minus 63.13 equals 116.9. 116.9. True. So this is equal to 116.9 degrees true. 116.9 degrees true. Initial course. And our distance was here 3805 in miles. Let's look. 6. 3805. Nailed that one. 117. Good. We nailed that one too. That is a solution to great circle distance and in initial course. Practice problem 6.